So I do a lot of technology M&A and I find that the earnouts come in and out of Vogue depending on how hot the market is. When the market is really hot and there's a lot of competition for the companies, you tend to see earnouts less frequently. But when the market is more of a buyer's market, we might see them more often. The buyer wants to hedge their bets, make sure they haven't paid too much, require that certain metrics or deliverables happen before the next stage of financing. But they can really be a catch-22. For the sellers, they often will agree to do the earnout because they think they'll ultimately get more money. But, and the buyer thinks that they don't have to pay as much until the product is proven or the contracts are signed or the volumes are reached. But what we often find is that integration is the most difficult part of an M&A deal. You hear statistics all over the place, 75% of M&A deals fail, and that's largely because of the failure of integration. And if you set up the target to have to earn an earn out after the closing, they're going to keep their business separate. They're not going to integrate the two teams. And so it really causes a lot of other problems post-merger, which quite possibly cost the buyer a lot more than if they had paid some more money up front. We've actually had some major public buyers who buy a lot of technology companies say that they will no longer do earnouts because they find that it just leads to an us versus they mentality once the deal has closed and that's not what they're aiming for. So buyer beware, seller beware, earnouts may have their place but they have lots of pros and cons as well.